Hey everybody, Gregor Arturo here. I wanted to share a concept about mathematics that might help change your perspective on how to view our reality. And so it comes down to the fundamental notion of understanding the number line. And if you've watched my channel before, I've talked a lot about linear and cyclical patterns. And so this in itself has helped me restructure my own understanding of the universe in terms of is there a number line, is there a number circle, are they both, are they one, are they different, are they the same? And it's really understanding how quality and quantity come and play together to manifest our reality, actually. And so this concept uh, involves uh, four primary constructs and four subconstructs, which might seem very f familiar to you, such as the compass or the octogram. Um, and so uh, usually we're, we're used to this spectrum right here, zero to infinity, but we talk also about um, negative one, the whole negative spectrum, but there's a disassociation with it in terms of how we teach it. And so um, let's start with infinity. Infinity is the notion that's sort of this um, uh, construct. A lot of people are talking in the metaphysical community now where math uses zero as the origin, while more of the metaphysical community uses infinity as the origin. And some use one. And the thing is, they're all interchangeable. They all can get thrown around. They're different perspectives of the same thing. And so um, the, the, you have infinity, but you also have zero, the infinitely small. So the infinitely large is the infinitely small. This is a very important notion to distinguish between the two in that they're polar opposites of each other. Everything and nothing. This is the biggest construct that humanity seems to get lost in, is in terms of polarities, is everything and nothing. And there's a big thing within the, the metaphysical community, um, about seeing everything and seeing nothing. We, we get we get lost in the language in all honesty. And that uh, there's like the notion of like going within, that we need to go within to discover our, our true freedom. But there's also going without. They're one and the same. And it's really understanding this midpoint of going in and go, going out and everything and nothing. And just like with the Big Bang, that the Big Bang was in rapidly expanding gas from an extremely dense compressed state. No, it's a rapid expansion compression, equal and opposite reactions at the exact same time of the ether um, condensing, co condensation uh, essentially of this medium into particulate matter and expansion into a vacuum. And so you have to have everything, nothing for it to exist. So if you can wrap your mind around this, you can start to change the fundamental processing, programming of your reality. And so, um, infinitely large, infinitely small, and then you have the midpoint between those two, which is one, which is the whole. And uh, we have X up here and the inverse of X down here. Um, and that's gonna be a spectrum of one to infinity, and this is a spectrum of one to zero. But they're inverses of each other. So this is important in understanding greater than, than the whole, less than a whole. Um, but this is like the infinite whole. And so it's really, how do we use language to describe these concepts? And so really understanding these letters for the intrinsically in exist as is what's most important. And so we get the negative spectrum over here. Um, and it's just a reflection of, of the same spectrum, but understanding that when we, when we talk about infinity in terms of a direction, this is positive infinity, this is negative infinity, this is positive zero, this is negative zero in terms of really understanding polarities. And so that's been the major problem with the mathematics we're using is really understanding polarity and how polarity works. And that a negative times a negative doesn't necessarily equal a positive. And so it's really understanding how the polarities work together and that we got our polarities backwards. We use um, positive as our reference point of polarities and negative as the inverse of the polarities when they're inverses of each other in a fundamental way and really understanding the balance of the polarity. We're giving a bias to the positive over the negative and that's what's detrimental to our, our thought process. And same with understanding zero as the origin. And so when we shift our idea of zero being the origin in mathematics to some other new construct which really is the origin, source, whatever you want to call it. I used to call it the infinite. But the infinite is really uh, an aspect of source itself. And so getting around all these terms, we get to true origin, true sources right here and something that's really undefined in mathematics. But it's a midpoint between negative one and one and infinity and zero. And so you can start to see mathematics in a whole new way in such as uh, uh, x divided by zero equals infinity. 
because you can put an infinite amount of zero into something. You can put an infinite amount of nothing into something. And so you can get a whole new construct on how to perceive mathematics, but big part is changing your reference point. And so reference point is huge in physics to calculating uh, anything, um, really in terms of your reference frame of motion. And so our reference frame of motion is this. This is the motionless. This is the point of perspective. This consists of motion. This consists of existence. This is the non-existence. That's why we don't use it in mathematics. We say something's irrelevant. It's impossible. It's because it doesn't exist. It really doesn't exist in the traditional way that we view um, something that's existential. And so when you get around that and really can understand the existence of the non-existence and get past our language because the language is what hinder us, hinders us. It traps us in such a powerful way. If you can just get around that and look at the pure intrinsic value of how these symbols relate to each other, it's going to make a lot more sense in terms of how you relate to your reality. Thanks for listening.